Wow. It doesn't seem real. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Five. Of course. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Fucking hearts? Yeah. Like it meant something to her. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah. She did that for a while. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Best mom. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. bathroom still smells like Mary. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay?
I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah, an empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. She pinched every penny. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. <laughs> we were. Just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Uh -huh. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. She kind of had an eye, I guess, but it was annoying. Uncle Eddie could never understand why I hated getting my picture taken. Yeah, same for me. All my photos at Fireweed, I've got my hands over my face like it's a perp walk. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She was always entering photography contests. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. Marianne was none the wiser. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me.
Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Where'd you come from? Now this, this feels like home. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie, back then. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace.
Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, 
and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Diary's probably in Marianne's room. I should go check. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever... All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché.
And boom, we're in. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly, they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I f finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother? Sister? We look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler. I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? 
She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right, deal. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. All right, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. my sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man.
Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. 
Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Let me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm, this place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Thank you.